Hello everyone, this is Lem Gambino here, playing uh, Rabby Ribby, a PC game for uh, for Steam. It's supposed to be a Metroidvania with lots of uh, bullet hell Damaku moments, so I'm sure it'll be pretty fun. So let's take a look at this game and uh, see what it's all about. Yeah, it looks like there's yeah there's the boards here. And there's comics. Yeah, I bought the special edition version of this on Steam. It has a uh, four coma esque comics featuring the characters from the game. And then we have something called Rabbit Box, which has some feature I don't know about. It was a sound test and an art book, but I'm not going to look at those now because those contain spoilers. We have the options menu here. It allows you to tweak your controls and. Uh, your controls, video options, that sort of thing. But I've already uh, played the game a little bit, so I've already got my options set up properly. So, not much else to do but start the game and see where we go from here. And yeah, as you can tell, I did play a little bit of this game, but we are going to start a brand new game. And while well, I usually play games on the normal, quote unquote, normal difficulty, I think I will play on the casual mode, if only for a fact that with all those bullets and stuff flying around, I'd rather not have to do some super precarious dodging or anything of that nature. So, let's try this. I will say this though, I did, I did fight a couple of bosses in casual mode and they are not very durable. <laughs> You'll see in a moment. And no, I'm not going to be reading the dialogue here. The dialogue can speak for itself. Hmm. What's going on here? We're in some kind of storage room. And now comes... Grayson! Nope, this is not Grayson. This is not a Toho game. In fact, I'm pretty sure the developer of this game is the... I'm pretty sure... Crud. I'm pretty sure that this is the only game made by a specific developer on Steam right now. So... She's obviously in an unknown location and she can talk. Well... Bunnies can apparently talk now. We have cartoon bunnies, anime bunnies, video game bunnies. I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of them can talk. And you've got this uh, kind of Playboy-inspired outfit for her. Which I'm not really a fan of, but I guess it kind of suits the uh, quote-unquote moe nature of this game. There's lots of, lots of cute girls and cute outfits and stuff like that, but... I'm not really here to look at the girls. I'm here to actually play a flipping game for you guys. So, our protagonist is scared. She's not sure where she is, so... She needs to figure out where she is. Okay, then. Well, we have our objective, and a brief tutorial. Unfamiliar place. Yeah, I didn't notice that that song name there. This game does display song names for each music track in the game, kind of like Toho. Though I have to say, this idol animation here kind of bugs me. Her hair looks like she has a fan constantly underneath her, and it's constantly blowing up. So, the walking animation... Yeah, is, isn't the best either, but everything else doesn't look too bad. You got this quasi-retro pixelated art style going on. As you, and as you can expect from a rabbit girl, she can jump pretty high. Hmm? Who's Miru? But at least we know our protagonist's name. Her name is Irina. 
And, like most Metroid-like games, we have a little, uh... We have a little, uh, mini-map in the corner. Where's that voice coming from? Let's find out where, it's, where it is. Okay, sorry about that, I was just checking the volume. Because the last time I played this, I had the volume set pretty low. So that you can actually hear my voice over the gameplay. Are they on this floor, perhaps? Hmm. Judging by the look of things, this looks like some kind of either an office or a hospital. Probably the former. It doesn't really have the feeling of a of a hospital, and I missed that jump. Same thing I did last time. When I, I made a test video of this game to make sure my voice came through, the video was smooth. So, you'll have to forgive me if I'm if I'm either speaking awkwardly or pausing to check on things, because, well, this is my first let's play, and I want to make sure everything is working smoothly before I begin. Keep going, keep going. And now we have a playroom of some kind. We have a statue of Arena and a fairy in the, on a shelf there. Not sure what that's all about. Hmm? Who's this? Well, of course she doesn't look so good. She looks black. Um... The heck is going on? Um, uh... I think we need an adult! Personal space! Um... Hmm. Now what's all this about? Huh. Looks like Arena was uh, dropped off by another rabid-looking girl. Um. Your heart is not ready for this. I think it's a little early to have, start having feelings for her. Also, just so you know, I'm not really a... Even though I'm a fan of, a, fan of games like Toho and Neptunia in this game, I'm not really much of a... much of that Yuri... into into that Yuri aspect of a... romance. Also, we have chapter names. Bunny meets Fairy. Welp, Arena awoke of a start. Hmm. Um, well... We can't really help that. We were kind of unceremoniously dropped here. Well, good. Maybe you can help us. Uh... What's your deal? What's your deal? What's your deal, Iris? Um, wait, where are you going? You're just gonna take off on, on us? Rude much? Hmm. Well, it's a clue at least. Oh. Oh dear. Our classic Metroid logic has been flawed. Going left does not lead to progress. We are a bunny. We found ourselves. Um, okay then. Yeah, we might as well look around, see if we can, uh, find uh, another route to this rabby rabby town. And we can talk to people now! 
So yeah, that doesn't really tell us much. Talking to this person says, Warning is preparation time. Okay then. And... Yeah. And yeah, this just repeats the cutscene we saw earlier. Okay. Confirmed. Alright, so let's have a look-see. And as you can see, we now have something resembling a uh, life bar here. And the game automatically saves, too. Hey, look, it's a bunny! Let's go pet it! Or get murdered by it. The bunny bit me! Bunnies aren't supposed to bite! Only buddies from Mortal Kombat and uh, Monty Python are allowed to bite! Uh, well, I found a bunny, but it bit me. Rather harshly. Nope, 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 you're not gonna get me this time. Alright. Let's keep going and, uh... Hmm, what's down here? Um... Solid ground, apparently! Uh, bit of a lag spike there, the music didn't load. What do you guys say? Um... Can I just... Run out of it and maybe push it? Nope. Can't get out of the way. Get out of the way. What's this passageway over here? I'm kind of reminded of another game. It's called, uh... uh what's, it, what's it called? Super Talking Time Bros, where they had a, a glitch where you could slide under a wall and clip through, through it to find a secret room. Yeah, I'll just let you fall into the pit there. There we go. One harmless bunny out of the way. What do you gotta say? Yes, I need some protection to touch them. Or a weapon to take care of them. Speaking of which, there's a weapon right here. The Pico Hammer. Um, I think you I think Amy Rose dropped this here by accident. But yeah, we get a tutorial on uh, how to swing this thing. So just to demonstrate. Oh, I didn't hit the I didn't hit anything. I didn't hit the blocks. I am a terrible gamer. But yeah. Swinging the hammer once you destroy blocks, and it'll let you destroy enemies. Take that! <laughs> and as you may have noticed, there is a uh, SP bar there. That goes down whenever you attack, kind of like in Dark Souls. So, you gotta be careful when, when using that. Mm. Can I make this jump? Nope! I'm going down again. Yeah. In casual mode, the enemies are pretty much just, you know, fodder. They're not very tough. And that was a mushroom I just whacked out of the way. Uh, come on, talk to me. Special cave, huh? Eh, I'm sure that's nothing important. So... Another enemy up there, I'm not gonna bother with it, but... I might as well... Well, okay, sure. I might as well kill as many enemies as I can to get some more hammer experience, because your hammer does level up as you use it. You do, you do learn some uh, useful techniques. Keep going, keep going. Mm, yeah! Bunny Genocide. Remember, genocide is bad. Especially if it gets, it's against bunnies. Bunnies are cute! Huh. Looks like we found Arena's old uh, nesting ground. Aw, oh, she found her old uh, bed there. Alright then, so yeah, this is a save point, so if we stand under it, we'll be instantly healed. And we can also save our game. So I'll do just that. And continue. Wait, I didn't talk to you. What do you guys say? Um, hmm. I think it's true. Healing yourself basically speeds up the regeneration of your cells and shortens your lifespan. The first thing, I, the first time I heard about that was in the anime One Piece, but I don't know if that's necessarily actually true or not. I think it's supposed to do with oxidation and man, what am I talking about? I'm supposed to be focusing on a cute game, on, game about bunny girls and this shiny stone here, which I can't interact with. Weird. Oh well, I'm sure it's not important. Well, 
so far so good. Nothing major of note here. Also, we have a new enemy type, this flower here. It'll spit bubbles at you. So, try to stay back from them if you can. Oh, it's a bigger bunny. That one took significantly more hits than the other bunnies. Also, uh, Mario, I think you left your springboard here. I do kind of like this. You get this, this powerful spring jump just by landing on the pad there. And I don't know if you saw it, but there was a bird enemy up here. It just flies straight across the screen, apparently. But I can't reach this ledge! Who knows? My sense of exploration has been cut short. Oh well, guess we might as well go into this seemingly point of no return turn zone and ooh, we got a hammer upgrade. Nice. Alright then. So we have slightly better range now. That's cool. Alright then, let's uh continue on this path. Oh, cutscene. Hmm. Well, people are willing to pay others to, to do these kinds of services, so you're doing people a proper service. I wonder what these mushrooms are for, anyways. There's brown ones and red ones. Hmm? Friend of hers, perhaps? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, it's alright. We uh, didn't mean to do that. Well, okay then, that's that's good to know. You don't need to be so snooty about it. Huh. Well, that's kinda that's unfortunate. Yes, what about the bunny ears? Uh bunny lovers? What? Um, can you not see it? Those ears are firmly attached to her head and not on some kind of headband thing. Um, um, oh dear, this is not going to end well, is it? Uh oh. Yeah, what are you doing? You're, we're in a boss fight now? Oh, jeez. She's got grenades! She's packing heat! Eef! Can't we just, like, talk this out? Y you know? Ow, oh, oh, that is just rude. Okay, you get a hammer to the face now. So, yeah, bosses bosses have various Stan Maku attacks, but the Coco here doesn't really do much. She just tosses grenades and sometimes shoots bullets. Didn't see her use that attack before. And as you saw, the uh, boss health in this game is uh, pretty pathetic. So, it's not hard to, to really uh, damage her at all. And of course, when bosses get low enough on health, they use a special attack, kind of like in Toho. And they usually gain buffs that makes them make them harder to hurt. Also, I should point out that Arena actually has a proper hitbox. You, can't, you saw it at the start of the fight, but I have no idea how to get it to reveal itself, kind of like in Toho. Oh, I, oh, geez, rude! I I couldn't read where that bullet was gonna fly. Okay, that's the end of you. <laughs> well, excuse me, you're the one that attacked me first. Packing grenades and flying drones and stuff. What are you, some kind of solid snake wannabe? Well, you just did. Jeez. Eh. Fine, whatever. If you don't want to help me, then I won't help you. Oh well. Okay. Well, before we do leave, we should uh, check out this area a bit more. Because it turns out we, there's a very useful power-up here. And the bunnies are not power-ups. This is. It's the Carrot Bomb. So, this is pretty much our... our uh, morph ball bomb of sorts. It has a rather long delay, but... I have learned that if you use it to attack enemies, you'll upgrade and you'll decrease its to delay for attacking. Also, um, did I learn the upper attack skill? Yes, I did. Yes. Now I can do that to enemies. Yes! Feels so good. Alright, so since we can't since we can't reach this ledge, we'll have to use our new bomb to 
break through these blocks here. Oh, would you look at that? There's a, another pickup here. It's a health upgrade. So yeah, now we have uh, 70 hit points now. Cool beans. Okay, let's see if I can kill some enemies with this, this thing. Which I probably should have done. Oh, whoops. That was not a smart move. And also, those frickin' mushrooms are quite the spazzes. I didn't think they jumped that high. Holy cow. Anyways, um... I know there's nothing over here, but if we try going back this way... Arena is not interested in going that direction. So let's keep going back here. Oh dear. What's, what's with all these rabbit, rabbit lovers? What's going on? Um... Okay, there's clearly something going on here. And how does she use that, sto that stone orb thing? Hmm. Oh, come on, you can jump higher than that. I, I just did that while... Um... I just did that earlier, and now we're in a cavern. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hmm. Sorry for scrolling through the text so fast. But yeah, she's... Oh, so this is the spectral cave she... we were we heard about earlier. Yeah, might as well explore. Then we have these enemies. They're just little bouncing... bouncing bulbs of electricity and they're nothing to worry about. Can't get up there. Definitely can't reach that ledge right now, so... Can't really do much. Let's go back this way. Nope, yeah, I have to actually jump. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. Also, who puts enemies in a save point room? That's rude. I recall another Metroidvania called Star po Ah. Um. Spaceport Hope, excuse me. I recall, I recall another Metroid-like called Spaceport Hope doing something like that, and I don't really like, like it when games do that. It's kind of cheap. But it's not exactly what I call a deal, deal breaker. Oh, we uh, learned a quad combo now. I'll probably become, be useful pretty soon. Hmm, what's gonna happen here? Oh! Well, what, what did you run into? You ran into a bunny girl, that's what. Um... Okay, I did make a joke about bloodthirsty rabbits earlier, but I am pretty sure that Arena is not exactly bloodthirsty. Um, also, we just ran into a cat fox person earlier. And you are a fairy, so I'm pretty sure that if both of those things exist, the talking bunnies exist. Um, okay then. Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing? Not again, jeez. And uh, no sense of logic at all of these people. It's always fight first, ask questions later. Oh uh, yeah, Ribbon's a little more difficult. She can fly and... And as you saw, she has that kind of super armor kind of thing that makes her harder to hit. And oh, she's already using her special attack. Got this ice golf ball thing going on. Take this! Oh, cool. I have... Oh, oh, you pulled right over me. Well, that's enough out of you. Um, again, we're not bloodthirsty. We just knocked you silly. Jeez, calm down. Uh, everyone's so jumpy today. But, Arena is one of a pure heart. She is not gonna harm a, a cute little fairy. Though I have to admit, I am not a fan of uh, Ribbon's uh, choice of clothing. Why is she wearing straps over her chest instead of a proper, you know, top or something? 
That always bugs me about this kind of a fan service y kind of thing. Not just in Japan, but also, you know, in other places. So. But thankfully, most of the other cast is modestly dressed, so it's not a huge deal. So it looks like uh, the two are going to team up. Because, I mean, I mean, Ribbon was on the cover of the game, so they got to team up at some point, right? So... Oh yeah, we have another objective. We gotta find these uh, other two people, Lily and Pixie. Alright, and we get a brief tutorial on how to use the uh, Ribbon's attacks. Turns out she has a Mega Man-esque uh, charge shot. Takes a while to charge up, but BOOM! It's quite useful. But it drains your MP gauge, so you can't spam it all the time. Not that you can, because it takes a moment to charge. And hey! You're supposed to be dead, good sir. Stay dead. And we now get a combo gauge. I'm not really a fan of combo gauges in games like this. I mean, I mean, I don't really think the combo system in this game is very intuitive, is what I'm trying to get across. Because, you know how combos work. After a while, they just wear off. But, oh dear, I can't get up the sledge. I need like a space jump or something. Oh yeah, and if, it w if this wasn't apparent already, this is kind of a blind LP. Pretty much playing this blind. I only got up to like this point in my uh, test video, so... Let's see where we can go from here. Hmm. I wonder what Ribbon's deal is, aside from her friends. Okay. Well, looks like we can't do anything else here, so we're gonna have to go back. But in the meantime, might as well level up a uh, ribbon shot. Yes, you can level up a uh, ribbon's uh, attacks too, and you definitely want to do so. It definitely makes it so you can fire shots faster, and that's always a good thing. And you may also notice we now have this EN counter there. That's basically your money, I believe. You definitely want to use the... Oh, pff, whoops. You definitely want to use the... Use your shot and the hammer when appropriate. And level them, level them both up so you won't... End up caught with your pants down at either... Melee or range. So we'll just... Get rid of these enemies. Yes, using both melee and... And long range attacks will fill up your combo meter. Okay, we found the warp stone. Hmm. Okay then. So yeah, it's typical warp stone, warp point logic. You can only use them when you've uh, been to a specific zone. Well, that's good to know at least. All right. Let's, uh, teleport, then. Oh, I think, uh... I think my joystick's a little sensitive, because I'm not really pushing that hard. And it jumps pretty fast, so... In any case, uh, let's go back to the Starting Forest! That's a clever name you should name your, uh, location, the Starting Forest! But hey, we're here! Oh, they're living on an island, huh? Okay, so, alright. We'll go in that direction, but first... 
Let's explore a little bit. Hmm. Wonder. Ah, cool. You, you, find, you can find a secret passageway here, apparently. But unfortunately, it looks like we gotta land in the right spot. Okay, there we go. So. Let's get rid of these rabbit things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks to our hitbox, we, uh, we didn't take damage, which is good, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. Maybe if I use another bomb? Oh, would you look at that? I found, uh, whatever this is. Defense trade. Equip it in the badge menu. Oh, interesting. Okay, then. So, yeah, we have uh, badges kind of like in Paper Mario. So let's see what, what our badges are like, and <laughs> these two are running around each other for some reason. Cute. Damage taken minus 20, attack minus 15. Eh, that's nice, but I don't think it's really necessary in this difficulty. So, but it's good to have something like that, just to, just to have your options open, and hey, excuse me! Ugh, rude. Okay, so we can't go that way, but... Can we... Can we oh, yeah, we still can't go this way. Alright then, so... Let's head the other way now. Save our game. And let's keep forging on a bit. What the? Um... What are these two talking about? Um... Um... We've been spotted? Uh... What? What's going on? Oh boy. Oh no, they're gonna try and come after me. <laughs> That's not good. Um, here, have some magic bullets. Oh, oh, you, you are in for it now. Hammer to the face! And... Uh. Oh, we got another level up. So now we can use the uh, hammer drill. Oh, really? U P R P R C. What does that even mean? I'm just gonna call him the Bunny Cult from from now on, or, if that's all right with you guys. Oh dear. Extinct. Well, you can't blame Arena for being a a little a little ignorant of the truth. Uh oh. Oh, here comes more of them. You do realize we have a hammer, right, Ribbon? We could just, you know, knock them silly, but. Oh well, we don't really have much else to do here. Yep, we're at the beach. Well, and to be. F Fair. I don't think bunnies can swim either, so... Okay, oh, we actually have a destination added to our map. Let's, uh, take a look at it. Wow, that's quite the distance. And, uh, since I'm here, I might as well take a look at the different, uh, menu options. We have, uh, we have the different uh, moves for Arena and Ribbon. We have our map, which is always very nice. And what's more, it has it shows us our uh, item and uh, map uh, exploration rates, so we can see. Uh, oh, excuse me. So we can see how much we have. We have the items, how much we've collected, the badges. We saw that the town. Huh. What's all this about? Are these people we can meet on our journey? Hmm. Oh, and this is... 
Buff and debuff, what is this? Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, these are the different uh, buffs we can get. That has a lot of buffs, holy cow. End system, it just lets us either... It shows off our achievements, of course. It also shows us, uh, lets us, let us access the options and return to the title screen if we so choose, or reload our game. So that's always good. Hmm. Before I continue, well, before I do anything else, let's grab this. That's a mana boost. This will increase our maximum MP, SP, and uh, increase our regeneration rate of each for a little bit. At least I think it does. Eh, not much of a difference right now, but... Our meter isn't going down as fast as the key here. But I would like to explore a little bit more. Oh. Oh, looks like uh, we have some uh, company here. Oh dear. New enemies galore. Um, yeah, I'll just... Oh no. Not... No. Bees! Why are there bees here? I don't like bees. Well... Well... I don't like bee enemies, is the thing. It looks like they're already quite the nuisance. Oh, just... Okay. Whew. So many enemies here. Force is dangerous. Seriously, what gives? Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if we can use our newfound bombs to blast apart this wall. Oh, it's a brand new zone. Take that. Oh, there's... There's an egg up there, but I can't reach it! Who knows? It's the curse of Zelda. You find a thing that you like, but you can't get it because it's out of your reach. Hmm. And there's the hammer drill. Always good to have both up and down melee attacks. And you're just gonna go off into oblivion. I'm gonna take a peek around this zone. See if there's anything of interest there. But it doesn't look like it, so. Drat! Guess we're uh, stuck here for now. But I think I've made a decent head start on our uh, adventure so far. So, next time on Let's Play Rabby Ribby, we'll uh, continue our journey and see if we can find Ribbon's friends and find our way over to. Rabbi Ruby Town. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a good evening, and uh, happy Halloween!